hello followers of uh, my youtube channel welcome to uh, today's video uh, in the last video uh, the last what i have uploaded uh, we have seen uh, how to adjust parameters range of a parameter for uh, your next uh, calibration uh, which tell you which means uh, how to import and adjust um, the parameter values initial and uh, minimum and maximum uh, range of uh, the parameter values so in today's video we will see how to uh, rerun uh, after we have conducted calibration and validations of uh, our model using the fitted values so uh, for instance uh, we may have uh, our project this uh, uh, SWAT project so uh, this this is the initial uh, run run uh, model but the parameter uh, ranges or the fitted values are not uh, given for the initial case so after you have conducted the calibration and validation you can get uh, the fitted values for each parameter uh, what uh, you are using in the calibration uh, okay while well you are using the calibration state for instance uh, for this model um, let me show you fitted values uh, may i have uh, i have accepted the flow calibration under uh, flow, flow calibration so uh, under this uh, you may uh, go to this calibration output under calibration output um, there are uh, based parameters here you see those are the fitted values of your parameter <coughs> no sorry so those are the uh, parameters and those are the fitted values for your parameter and uh, uh, those are the coefficients for each uh, parameter v v means that it replaces the, the existing value by the new values and uh, a means add uh, new value to that of uh, the uh, last value r means uh, multiply the value for instance if you have um, curve number of uh, 73 by default when we are running our model and if, if you have a, a parameter fitted value by using this one so you should uh, multiply this uh, into one plus that of this fitted value and you can get a new uh, a parameter that is um, the right parameter okay the right value of, of curve number in such a way we will um, rerun after you have uh, giving those fitted values to your model you can rerun your model and uh, that is the uh, uh, exact model um, output for your surface runoff maybe for your sediment if you are conducting on sediment maybe nutrient like that and um, you can uh, do your rerunning after using uh, inserting those fitted values so the main question here is how to insert those fitted values for the uh, SWAT model so basically this is um, uh, initial uh, initially run the model so to rerun your model you should give uh, those fitted values to your parameter okay in different ways for instance the first way the first way of uh, editing your parameter uh, is go to this manual calibrator help helper under SWAT simulation here is manual calibration helper and uh, you may have different parameters here those are the different parameters 
for instance the um, alpha df is the uh, one parameter for stream flow that I have used but you should um, you should select the parameters in such a way after that you should also select the mathematical operation here the mathematical operation under uh, this section uh, since you should have to know uh, this uh, mathematical uh, operation uh, it is V or it may be A, it may be R uh, in different ways but for uh, this tutorial purpose uh, the alpha BF is uh, the mathematical operation is V it means replace uh, the existing value by this one we will replace the value by this one so it is better to copy it copy okay and uh, uh, sorry basically here the mathematical operation is replacing the uh, replacing this value okay replacing existing value you should select in such way if your parameter is um, a you should say the mathematical operation as add okay and if your parameter is uh, r, r coefficients of r you should select this multiply by uh, operation mathematical operation and you should give uh, the value under this and copy and paste the value you see that the alpha bf is we are asked to replace so uh, it equals it says equals but if you say add you see it adds this new value to that of the existing alpha bf value what the uh, what model used before uh, we are rerunning the model and if you have the saying multiply in the model multiply this alpha bf by using this value right so um actually when we are uh, multiplying or for the parameters that have coefficients of r you should uh, give a value by adding one under uh, the fitted value means if it is negative so uh, you should um, uh, reduce this number from one uh, otherwise, uh, otherwise if your parameter is I mean your fitted value is uh, positive so you should add this value to that of one and um, you should adjust in such a way so uh, we will see uh, one by one so the first thing on um, uh, uh, giving fitted values for your model is by selecting your parameters under this okay so uh, after you have inserted in such a way you may select the subdivisions or subdivisions all land use all soils and also in such a way and finally say update your parameter okay so uh, the second way the second way of um, uh, giving a fitted value is for instance some parameters some parameters are uh, uh, not available under uh, this under this some parameters are out of uh, this for instance there are um, uh, like adjustment peak and uh, different uh, parameters are there so we can uh, edit those uh, parameters by uh, uh, clicking on this edit SWAT inputs under this there is a watershed I mean subbasin data and uh, the uh, SWAT input table here is uh, your parameter may be that may be groundwater it may be uh, management or chari or uh, other te parameter so for instance if you see the groundwater parameter here in the select the subbasins one of the subbasins it's not um, uh, it's possible to select uh, rather one of them okay and say okay here and uh, say edit your values here so for instance here uh, this parameter this parameter is not uh, available under this um, manual calibrator helper so you can edit under this section by simply uh, copying the fitted values here this one is the uh, alpha bfd all right 
so uh, copy this value and um, copy uh, paste here your data in such a way then under this extend parameter edit is um, uh, extend edit to uh, select a charges check this part and then uh, click select all subdivisions all landies and all soils as well as all slopes then save your edit okay uh, uh, you can edit parameters that are not available on the manual calculator helper in such a way and also uh, there are different um, after you have uh, editing by the way after you have read editing parameters under uh, these subdivisions or watershed data you should rerun your uh, uh, parameters for instance I have um, uh, edited the uh, subdivision data here the groundwater data some groundwater data so after you uh, have inserting the fitted values I will go to the rerun SWAT input file after that uh, I will select this groundwater then write files so in such a way you should uh, write your uh, parameters that are not available on the SWAT simulation uh, I mean the manual calculator repair all right so um, the second thing here is you may have uh, different uh, land is land cover um, uh, data for instance so you may uh, get those uh, things under this uh, database okay so if we have uh, uh, using this universal soil location C for uh, it may be for your sediment you can edit uh, those things under this uh, da database under uh, land is land cover database different jarrells they may be uh, their lands may be uh, forest here forest state forest method in such a way you can edit the, uh, those um, universal soil logic agency in such a way as well as um, uh, other parameters for instance here watershed uh, basins basin data basin data should be edited under this okay uh, for instance those adjustment peak data okay those may be available under the manual helper so you can um, give a fitted values in such a way so after you have given those uh, fitted values uh, you can run your model and uh, you can uh, read your outputs okay you can read your outputs uh, in such a way so uh, let us uh, see the one by one okay it may take um, five minutes so the first data here the first data you should adjust this alpha bfd because it is uh, not available under uh, manual um, calibration helper so you should do this first okay this alpha bfd for my case so it is uh, replaced we will replace this value since the coefficient is v so uh, copy this value uh, go to your model here go to this edit uh, subdivision data uh, our data is the groundwater data all right so then I select one of the subdivision land use soil and slope say okay edit this one this one is alpha bf so I will replace it since it's p so uh, go to this one all such a way save all right so uh, since i have edited this uh, parameter which is not available under the manual calibration helper i will go to this rerun SWAT, and uh, the parameter that i have edited is um, the uh, groundwater data so i write file okay so i have written the data the second thing here is um, i will go to these parameters so the first parameter is alpha bfd alpha bf i mean so the alpha bf is um, replaced and this value is uh, you can see here okay alpha bf it is replaced and the, the fitted value is this one copy this one 
good um go to this one just value this paste all right in such a way have this a parameter we have done and uh, there's a second is biomics biomics is in a uh, similarly replace value um, replace yeah see the value range copy and um, paste good in such a way good and uh, I have showed you the parameters that have uh, replaced mathematical operation let me show one uh, parameter which is the curve number which is multiply value so uh, under this condition under this case uh, uh, we may uh, this uh, the value should be one plus the fitted value for the curve number for the curve number uh, this one is a curve number so uh, copy this value so the uh, fitted value should be the fitted value here is um, this one so this is positive so um, we will uh, multiply the existing value by one plus the fitted value so it is since it is positive so we should add one uh, uh, by this fitted value for multiply case so 1.0449 and select your the basins the all land use soils uh, and also uh, slopes and update your parameters and let me show uh, one parameter that has the coefficients of a for instance here is the groundwater delay is a uh, fitted value okay fitted value and um, copy groundwater delay all right here is a uh, groundwater delay I'll replace uh, the value I mean this add okay add the values and uh, paste the values all so basin land use soil slopes and update the parameters okay so we can uh, uh, give all the fitted values for the, the remaining parameters in such a way and um, after you have given those fitted values simply go to this um, SWAT and run your model again okay that is very simple but uh, don't forget uh, some parameters may uh, be under uh, uh, they are stopping on subasins only maybe no more um, uh, HRUs for instance if you see um, I mean this uh, specs for instance you see for uh, this specs or speak on those parameters are uh, the basin parameters so no more uh, HRUs are there here okay no more uh, charges simply you should select the parameters mathematical operation give values then update only okay and uh, some parameters also uh, may not have uh, may not have uh, yes like this in the universal p here and uh, it, it has okay it has so now you can finally run your model and finally you can read your SWOT outputs okay you can uh, it is uh, I mean you can um, see your uh, hydrological as well as sediment uh, outputs uh, in such a way and I hope it is very helpful for um, rerunning your models running uh, your models okay you can observe your uh, curve number sediment in such a way so uh, it is enough for today and uh, if you have any questions you can ask under the comment section don't forget to um, uh, share the videos to your friends okay bye for uh, today thank you for watching